Hi everyone, Cole here again at Kitschy Flower, uh, back again with another video. So this is going to be a multiple part little series of everything I have found in Virginia. Uh, so I'm sure you'll be seeing, but I'm actually here in Virginia visiting my grandparents. So we actually drove, <laughs> we actually drove up to go to the Fisherville Antique Expo, which is about an hour away from where my grandparents live. Uh, so along the way, obviously we found a bunch of stuff at the Expo and also some local antique stores. I actually used to live here in Virginia, so I knew kind of all the good places to hit up. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is probably going to be like a two-parter because um, I do have a bunch to show. So I'm trying to do this in a pretty um, timely manner since I do have a sale later today. Um, I did end up bringing a few items from home to do my live sale. You can't miss my Sunday whatnot sale. So I did end up grabbing some things from home and bringing them with me just so I could, you know, have a sale at my grandmother's house, which obviously we have different scenery here in this video, thought it would be fun. Uh, my grandparents live in a very, very beautiful old historical home. Um, it is quite gorgeous. So uh, you can clearly see kind of where some of my love for vintage, I mean, vintage and antiques have been in my family for kind of generations. Um, not too sure about great grandparents, but my grandparents, my mom, and obviously I, we all love some antiques and vintage. So without further ado, let's get into that haul. So let me see. All right, so I think the majority of this bag um, is actually from said expo, I think. So I don't know. All right, let's get into it. So first off, let's unbox. Ooh, all right. So first was such a great find. Um, I really had a fun time at the Antique Expo. It was a lot of fun. It was actually the first time I had ever been, but part of it was inside, part of it, they actually had two buildings. So there were two buildings and a bunch of vendors outside, uh, which it was a pretty fun environment. It really was. Granted, some things were definitely marked, in my opinion, a little bit above retail. Um, and then obviously you could find some deals. It really just kind of depended on what you were looking for. And I was looking for kitsch, so I found some pretty good deals. So first set uh, is this awesome PY shaker set. Really, really groovy. I ended up picking these up, I think for like 12. Uh, still with their stoppers, they have some light crazing, but you really, I don't tend to find these PY shakers too often. So when I do, I do like to try to grab them. And these are little gray haired ladies. So obviously I'm very keen on the silvery gray hair myself. So had to pick these up. All right, so next off is, ooh, one of my favorites. So next off we have an amazing little celluloid doll. This is a very hard to find style of them. A lot of times you find the little flapper style gals, but I have never actually come across this one before. She has a little wear and a little denting, but nothing too severe. Um, actually the last one similar to this one I had, I sold pretty much the first day I found it before I even like listed it or anything. Somebody actually reached out from Israel um, about her, so ended up finding her a home in Israel. So we'll see where this one finds a home, but look at her little doll. And of course these were made before plastic was really popular for toys. So really, really great shape for what she is. Still has her little price tag. Um, really fun, really, really cute. I paid a little up for her, not gonna lie. Um, but honestly, I have a lot of people who contact me about celluloid dolls, so I'm okay with personally picking them up for a little bit higher, because uh, I know I will definitely get more than my, my investment uh, at least twice. So really, really cute on her. So I have to definitely set aside like a very fragile pile uh, for all the, the finds. So next off, well bam, we got more but I actually ended up going both days at the 
um, expo. So it was a Friday, Friday, yes, it was a Friday and a Saturday. So we ended up going both days, uh, which I'm really happy about. We have an awesome little cookie jar. I've actually never come across this one before, but thought she was really, really sweet. She says, um, you're an angel, have one. Really, really cute. She has some sticker residue on the side right here, but I'll be able to clean that up. And honestly, I might end up putting her in my shop. I don't know, I might put her on Etsy. I'll just have to see, or maybe a live sale. Uh, but she is rather large and oof, trying to ship her, it would be a little bit of a pretty penny, but I might end up doing it anyways, we'll see. But I thought she was really, really sweet. All right, so next off, we got this really sweet set of little dolls, I'd say from the 50s slash 60s, really sweet shape. Um, this one apparently has shoes, this one doesn't, but still in their original outfits, no really dirt or debris on them. So had to pick these up because I know, obviously you love the vintage toys. I know I do. So next off, I found a cute little pixie elf knee hugger. Always try to pick these up when I can. Uh, they always sell super quick. So had to pick him up. And then let's see, I'm trying to remember what else I picked up. Oh, okay. So these actually aren't from the, uh, Expo, these sweet little made in Japan, wall pocket, sailor, cutie style kind of boys, had to pick them up. Uh, really, really sweet. One has a little bit more wear than the other, but I think I picked them both up for like, I don't know, like seven bucks or something like that. So I really couldn't pass them up. Really, really cute on those. So in the fragile pile, they go. So oh, next find is, if we can get her out carefully. All right, you guys, if you didn't already know, I do love a mermaid. And what did I find? Actually, this wasn't at the expo either. This was actually at uh, an extra antique store that was really, really close. So I've actually never found her before. This is a mermaid, little ashtray. She did have a little bit of a repair or a little crack, as you can see on her wrist right there. Uh, still kind of decided to pick her up. I only picked her up for, I think eight bucks, which I know she has a little bit of damage, but mermaids, are a very, very popular subject matter. So I felt like, you know what? I can justify the little bit of the damage. If all else fails, if she doesn't sell, she could probably just hang out in my mermaid bathroom. Not gonna lie. So it's really fun to find mermaid things because you really don't, at least for me, I don't come across mermaids out in the wild too often. It's only really been a handful of times and and I'm not gonna say about half of those times I've ended up keeping them because like I said, when you find them at a great price, it's a score. So I think I'll go through maybe one or two more bags and then I'll start the next video. So at the same expo, I found a bunch of vintage clothes, which, you know, I've been wearing vintage clothes for upwards of 10 years. Um, I love the 60s and 70s kind of mod style, dagger collars, polyester shirts, you name it. So found this one, uh, really, really sweet. I actually, this guy was awesome. I'll insert his Instagram right here. But uh, he was super groovy. He was actually doing, I think, um, three for 20. So like three items. So I got that shirt. I absolutely adored this one. Really, really groovy. Might end up keeping that, I don't know. Uh, this one is really cute. And I personally love vintage clothes. I try to pick them up when I can, uh, just because, you know, they're really fun. And honestly, vintage clothes do really, really well in my vintage booth in Fayetteville uh, with all the movie studios and such we have in Georgia. Really, really cute. Again, another dagger collar. I can't, I don't know if you can see the pattern, but really, really groovy. And then we got this cute little, very retro, little house dress, little mod moment. Love the floral on it. The floral pattern is everything. Really, really cute. And then we got another cute little house dress. So I think I ended up paying like, 
I think 40 bucks for all of it, which honestly I thought was a pretty nice deal. Really, really cute. So it was, I think he was doing buy to get one free. So love, love, love a good deal on vintage clothing. One more bag. All right, so next off we have a wonderful, in pretty much brand spanking new shape, we have a vintage bear from the 60s. Uh, this is a picture book character bear. So, so he does actually still have his original tag. No odors, no staining. He is so, so cool. Look at his pink eyes, little felt lashes. Adorable. Whenever I can find vintage plush from the, um, from the 70s and later, I really do try to pick up, so really fun. Had to grab him. And then the next thing was this little sewing kit. Really, really cute. I think it might be missing a few pieces, but for the packaging alone, I kind of had to pick it up. And also it did have a, a little pose doll pixie in there. So really cute. It has still some of the pieces in there behind, but for the graphics alone, I definitely had to pick it up. Um, just because I love these little little kits because uh, these are, again, great for displays and such. But that has really been it for this part of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Part two coming soon. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Uh, I, of course, am on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube here, and whatnot every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So go give me a follow. All the links, of course, will be in the bio. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until part two.